Hey guys, it's Brittany Smith and welcome to Filmmaker Symposium. So today I'm going to talk about ban lists and these are going to really improve the quality of your filmmaking and screenwriting. But first off, I want to explain what a ban list actually is. So a ban list is really just a list of no-nos for your storytelling and screenwriting. And I like to compare this to when I was young and I went to an English class and my teacher uh, really encouraged us to form ban lists for specific words that kind of brought down the quality of, quality of our writing. And some of these words were words such as like um, the word like, the word love, the word see, the word look. These are all very basic English words. And she wanted to push us to write words that were higher vocabulary and um, more professional sounding. So we can do the same exact thing with filmmaking or screenwriting by forming our ban list, not necessarily of words, but of certain storytelling tactics that we actually want to ban in order to increase the quality of our storytelling. So I'm gonna go over just a couple things that are going to help us in this area, but I really wanna encourage you to put your own things on your ban list because you're gonna develop your own style and you're gonna have things that you don't wanna include in your screenwriting to portray a certain quality in your own screenwriting. So the first thing that I have on my ban list is actually greetings. So when I'm screenwriting, I really try to avoid as much as I possibly can. I try to avoid greetings in my scenes because most of the time people already know when they come to a scene, if they see two people together, your audience will know that they did say hi to each other. And many times a hello is not necessary, it's just exposition. And exposition is not helpful if it's not directly affecting your story. There are times where you will have to do greetings if it actually contributes to the story. But there's usually, there's very rare instances in which you need to actually have a greeting. And greetings are just, they're boring. When your audience watches a greeting that's not necessary, it's just extra stuff that they have to waste their time on. And we don't wanna waste our audience's time. Now, another thing that I try to ban, and this is more of a broader topic, but I try to ban the obvious. So for instance, if my screenplay has a car accident in it, I don't have one of the characters say, oh my goodness, a car just crashed. No, you don't wanna do that, that's obvious and it's cheesy. So if you can actually show that instead of um, say it, you actually don't even have to show the car accident, you can just show your characters happily talking in a cafe and then all of a sudden you hear the screech and then a crash and a bang and then your characters both look at each other and then run outside to see what's going on. That is way more professional than your character saying, oh my goodness, a car just crashed. It's very elementary and very amateur. So banning the obvious, there's so many things that you can do with this um, particular um, tactic, um, making sure that your characters are not saying something obvious or your characters are not doing something obvious. Um, you know, if they say something like, I'm gonna go to the doctor, and then you show them going to the doctor actually, like the whole way through. Um, there are times to show some exposition of them maybe driving to the doctor, but you don't need to show a lot when you're just doing something simple like that. Um, you can say, I need to go to the doctor and then just cut directly to the doctor's office where he's giving you a prescription. So things like that, you wanna ban the obvious. And there's so many other things that we can ban, but um, banning the obvious is a really good place to start. So in conclusion, I really want to hear from you what you would ban. What are some things that you've seen in some amateur movies that you feel like, ugh, I wish that 
filmmakers would ban this or screenwriters would ban this from their storytelling because it makes the audience feel uncomfortable. It's just not necessary. It's superfluous. Um, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments and um, maybe I'll actually talk about it on a later episode, but I'm sure you all have some great ideas because we're all filmmakers and screenwriters trying to learn this craft together. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time on Filmmaker Symposium. Thank you.